Hey friends, we've just been so overwhelmed by your response the last few days as we've been diving into facing the negative realities, the negative things that are in we're dealing with in our heart of hearts. And I've been so impressed by your courage and your willingness to go here. Um, as we've said over and over again, as we were talking about despair and hopelessness, it's so important to understand that God is a God of truth. And so we're not going to be able to receive his truth into our lives until we're lives until we're honest with what's actually going on inside of us. And so, um, you know, God says over and over again, do not fear. Well, who does he say do not fear to? It is the fearful ones. And only if we're honest where we're fearful can we receive his courage and his life. So today we're going to be focusing on fear. One of the most common responses that God has to his people, he says over and over again, fear not. Why? Because I am with you. But today, fear is probably the most popular and most socially acceptable idol most socially acceptable sin. Why do I say sin? Jesus, God says, fear not. If God says, don't do it. That means it's a sin. You know, Jesus says, be anxious for nothing. Oh my gosh. But I thought that was my superpower, right? No, no. Why would God say this? Because fear is an indicator that I'm in peril that my life is in danger, that some aspect of my identity, my person, some part of my safety is in the hands of somebody else or something else, and I'm going to die. Now, here's why that's so important. Because what I fear, I obey. You know, um, one of the things that, you know, we see over and over again in Scripture, it talks about Fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. And, and I don't know about you, but a lot of times when I heard that before, it really bothered me. But let me twist it a little bit. Have you guys ever seen like in an action film or even maybe in real life when something really bad goes down? Like maybe an explosion or a bomb goes off in a crowded area. Most of the people do what? They run away from it. But there's a select few that run toward it. Are they not afraid? Listen, only insane people aren't afraid in those kind of situations. But here's the deal. They're more afraid of not being themselves, of not being courageous than they are of protecting their lives. Now, that, that what I mean by that is not that they're afraid of, of some sort of weird idea that I'm not me, but they are more it is more important, it is more true that, that they be themselves who God made them to be powerful deliverers, savers of lives than it is for them to protect their life. And Jesus said this, he who attempts to save his life will lose it. And that's what we do in fear. We're just simply trying to protect our lives, but we end up losing it. And so what I want to challenge us today is what does God want to speak into our fear? Now, the first thing is we have to be honest with where we're afraid. Listen, we've all dealt with someone who's afraid and we're like, hey, let's talk about it. And they're like, I'm not afraid of anything. Nothing can be done there. No breakthrough can happen if we're not honest about where we're afraid. But many times we're terrified to admit where we're afraid because we feel powerless there. And so often we're shoving it to the side or we're justifying it or vilifying whoever we're afraid of. But when, if we will take a moment and say, God, if I bring this fear out into the, into the truth, into the, into, I bring it out, can you protect me? Oh, he can and he will. And what does God say every time when we're afraid? He says, fear not. Why? Because I'm with you. I'm with you. If God is for you, who can be against you? He who fears, John tells us, isn't made perfect in love. That's not condemnation. Simply means we don't understand how loved we are by the God of the universe. The almighty one loves us and is for us. If we did, then we would not be afraid and we would prioritize his voice and hearing him and responding to him. So when fear comes up in our hearts, instead of pushing it down, instead of going, no, 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 remember, we're not supposed to fear, that doesn't help. 
that just shoves it down. That's like when you take out a pe uh, um, in if you've got in the fridge some old food and you open the container and it stinks and you close it and shove it to the back. That doesn't change anything. But when we take it and we recognize that it's simply fear is a signal on our dashboard that we're fearing something other than God, that we're fearing that we, uh, Jesus, uh, Paul says our lives are hidden with Christ in God. If, if God, so if he has got us, if he is for us, who can be against us, right? So if we grab onto that, so if we pay attention to our fear, say, God, show me my fear. Show me what I'm afraid of because what we fear, we obey. Then we can lay it at the feet of Jesus and we can say, Jesus, what do you say? Listen, all the time, one of the things we're most afraid of is each other, right? We're afraid of relationship. We're afraid of but what people can do to us, what they can say about us, all, all number of things. And I remember recently I was going to meet with someone and I knew they had a lot of problems with me. They didn't like a lot of things about me. And I said, God, what do you want me to know about them? This is what we do with our fear. What do you want me to know about it? What is your perspective, God, on my fear? You know what they said? Mm -mm, they're for you. I was like, yeah, but they have all these problems with me. Just lit. And so I went. And instead of going with my shields up, self-protection, I came in low and I listened. And I, was, and I kept my heart gentle. And I was, and guess what? God brought deeper relationship with this person as we're honest about the things that were bothering them. It was amazing. And so as we lay that before the Lord and we say, God, I will fear what you say over my circumstances more than I will fear the thing itself. Let God be proven true and every other man a liar. God is for us. And so when we hear fear, let us not ignore it. Let us not shove it down, but let us pull it up and say, God, I'm afraid, let's be honest. I'm afraid of this person. I'm afraid of my finances. I'm afraid of, of war. I'm afraid of loss. I'm afraid that something hap will happen to my kids, whatever it is. I'm afraid of sickness. But God, what do you say? What do you want me to know about this? And I will choose to believe you over and against this. And then, if that's true, what do you want me to do? with what you've shown me about my fear. I'll tell you another thing that's really powerful as you're doing this is read the passages in the scriptures about fear. God, I, I, I went through today and I was just, it was like going through a car wash over and over again, being beaten by God's goodness and his love. Uh, I went ahead and I put these together on a page. If you go to arisealife.org slash fear, you can pull it up. I've got like four pages of these scriptures about fear, what God's saying about fear, about how we deal with fear. And it's amazing. It's such a beautiful car wash. But remember this, these are not demands that you not fear. These are invitations from God. He's saying, don't, you don't have to fear. There's no shame in this. Come over to me. I am for you. If I am for you, who can be against you? Because your God loves you. Guys, um, many of you guys have asked us if we'd be willing to put these over on YouTube. We have done so. Um, and uh, you can find those at arisealife.org slash, uh, I'm sorry, youtube.com slash arisealifemedia. And you can find those there. But uh, love you guys so much. I'm going to hopefully be able to do a Ukraine prayer update a little later today. You'll want to see that over on the Facebook page, Ukraine Prayer Update. Look for it there. and uh, But uh, God is on the move. There's so much reason for hope there as well. But listen, we will never be able to pray from hope. We'll never be able to partner with what God wants to do as long as we're walking in fear because we'll be empowering something else other than God. So let's, let's, let's listen to fear, bring it to the Lord, let him speak over it, and then walk in the light of his love. Love you guys. Have a great one.